from, I think, 1977, according to the patent information I found. This is the Daytax TBX-30, um, an information recording device on cards, which were then retrieved by pressing various buttons. So let's take a look at this. Let's look at the box first. Box is big. Uh, the unit's not really small. It's about the size of a small typewriter. And it's Daytax new record keeping, record finding idea. Exclamation mark. It's hard to see, but in the board there, they have like stock numbers entered and things like that, not just phone numbers. So you can use this for whatever you want to label your keys for and with similar cards matching up to those keys. Convenience at your fingertips. Today's pressing schedules demand answers. And with the touch of the day tax buttons, they become commonplace. Got this from Goodwill. Here's the back with a profile of the unit on it. Daytex could be the answer because the capacity is almost a thousand entries more if they're doubled up. The three tiered keyboard, 30 keys, allows flexibility for combinations of letters, symbols, numbers, etc. Certain keys can be utilized for the alphabet, others for special accounts, pricing, inventories, etc. Keyboard caps pop straight up with a slight pressure so they can be changed instantly to accommodate various letters, numbers, and symbols. Index cards conveniently slide in and out of the plastic trays for quick changes. Every unit includes an ample supply of pre-cut cards and keyboard tabs. The unit operates either AC or DC. Okay, all right. Now, you see some patent information here at the bottom. I couldn't get anything back on those patents except for the USA one. And uh, let's take a look at that USA patent. So this is uh, from 1977, the USA patent, um, Fuji Manufacturing. A device for retrieving data such as individual names, firm names, addresses, telephone numbers, and so forth, which is constructed in a handy and compact type and which comprises a rotatable data recording member having a plurality of data indicating parts. A plurality of data retrieving members corresponding to the data indicating parts of the re rotatable data recording member. A drive mechanism to rotate the data recording member and a control mechanism to cause the drive mechanism to stop by operating one of the data retrieving members. Good heavens, lots of data retrieving there. Now, the photograph they show in the patent is not for the TBX-30. It's for the TBX-15, which has 15 keys. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but it is. It is a primary object of the present invention to provide a device which enables accurate retrieval of desired data to be accompanied by simple manipulation of data selection button. It is a secondary object of the present invention to provide a data retrieving device in which all the operational mechanisms and the electrical circuit to control the operations are simplified to the maximum possible extent. It is a third object of the present invention to provide a data retrieving device which is constructed in a compact size so as to be handy and convenient for use even at a small space, such as a desktop and others. And that's the TBX 15, because it has 15 keys. And here is the TBX 15. Um, I actually made a video about this about four years ago. I mean, it has 15 keys, and 30, TBX-30 has 30 keys. But other than that, they're kind of the same, although this one's much simpler. Might have come out a couple years later. 
I can't find much online about this or the um, TBX-15, but in a 1979 article in what I think is a British magazine, Wireless World, they had a short little sales blurb about it. Um, rapid access to index details for the capacity of about a thousand entries. It's available from Hadley Sales Services. Each unit includes a supply of pre-cut index cards and keyboard tables. The price is 40 pounds plus 15% value added tax for the TBX30 and the TBX15. With 360 entries cost 18 pounds plus 15% value added tax. So trying to convert those older numbers with value added taxes to modern numbers. I think the uh, TBX30 would have been with the value added tax 46 pounds, which is $56 back in 79 and 210 pounds into 2023, which is $256, I think, or close to it. So that's the prices based on that little financial article. Looking a little bit closely at the machine, has a plastic cover, which I don't like. I'll probably take off for most of the video. The 30 keys, on off button. It's got some weight to it. It's not a lightweight, TBX 30 there. Um, there's a place at the base for two D cells made in Japan by Fuji Electronics, I think we said. An on off button, and that's pretty much it. Now, you notice that there's numbers on those keycaps. It's not like this when I got it from Goodwill. I had made a, started to make an earlier version of this video that was not going well, and I had put in letters, uh, now they supplied me with a sheet of letters and use the reverse side to make up your own as needed. Now these are not adhesive. Um, and I had wondered if they were gonna stay on. And I noticed as I practiced with my label maker, they all fell inside there. So I'm glad I didn't use these because I would have lost some of these in the machine and then had to switch to my label maker and the fonts would have looked totally different all over the board. So I, I just kept going with my label maker. Uh, but I saved one so you can see how the keycaps come off and uh, you insert your top for the key. Also coming with it were a whole mess of sheets of these cards you can put your data on. Um, and I have made some mock-ups uh, of phone numbers that we can look at. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time on an old typewriter typing these up. I didn't want my printing. I noticed on the video of the TBX-15, my printing just looked awful. I thought I'd type these up nice as we could. So we'll put some of those in so we can see ba the basic operation of advancing keys and things. Uh, when we get started, but certainly not all of them. We're not going to go through the whole alphabet, just a couple samples. And plus a couple of things I did. I made a private one because I thought it was interesting. They showed private in their card. I wonder why. If this is on your desk, the first thing people are going to punch is private. I'm not quite sure I see the point of that. Uh, if you want to make instructions for something in your business, I just did a how-to and made instructions for the machine. And then what if you don't have enough letters or codes or something for a double stack, you can do two. And so I made one for X over Z if you didn't have enough X's and Z's. And then I uh, made a blank one, which was, blank one was for uh, stock. What if you'd used it the way the company did and had stock numbers on it and things like that for what? So that's what that button will be when we put the cap on in a minute, stock. They did supply instructions. 
As you can see on the sheet there, it's just phone numbers. Not much on it. Put your two batteries in. Instructions for preparing, preparing the listings. I will say that putting the cards in, in this one is much easier than the uh, 15 key version where you had to figure out how to slide the cards in from the top and your hand's just not gonna fit in there. This one you can slide them in from the side and it's made it much easier. So, but it does note that when you turn it on, if you don't have a button depressed, they'll just keep spinning. So make sure you have a button to press. They say the A button, which is, I made it in the upper left, but it could be whatever button you want. And there's the Datex parts list, Rainbow National, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And here's the telephone parts list. So same company, same time, um, just different and prices change too. So owner's manual. All right, let's try and put a code on the cover of that key. Didn't pull straight off that time. Lots of times they didn't. And um, I have made up one that I can just apply to the top with my label maker. So we'll see how that goes. All right, didn't make this very good, but. See if that works. I'll try and get it centered here. So now we have one that says stock for uh, their parts list. But the keycaps do come off. Sometimes it's they're fussy. I'm getting them back on more than getting them off. But it does work. All right, so I have made up some sheets, various things. Got another sheet here, too. So we'll put some of these in with these things here and a couple of the ones from the alphabet. And like I said, this is much easier than the TBX or where you had to load them in from the top. Uh, these you can put in from the side. I was afraid they weren't gonna fit at first, but they do. So, and then your, a lower part of your A will be here if you need more of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and populate the ones that I have made pre-cut sheets for, and then we'll come back to it. All right, we're populated with a few things. A's, I made two sheets, upper and lower. B's, I made two sheets upper and lower. The interesting thing is if you want to go back to A, it's going to spin around through all the other 30 keys. Card holders. Now we're back to A. B. I think the next one I put something in was G. Um, I don't think I put anything else in any of the alphabet ones. Let's go to stock. So this company's tracking their capacitors where they're at. Now let's say you had something where you needed to split. For instance, in my case, X's and Z's, you can have the top be one thing and the bottom be something else. Or you can type notes. Or you can make something private. Um, and the first thing people are going to press on your desk when they see that is private. So, what did I put in private? Some of you might be able to guess, since this is about phone numbers, what's the most famous phone number you can think of, at least in pop culture? Did you get it? Jenny. Tommy Two Tones, 8675309. Well, that's all I can show you of the day text... TBX 30. I wanted to try and get inside and look at the mechanisms, um, but just like the TBX 15, I could not get through some clips they have on here without the plastic really starting to creak and moan. 
and scare me. So I elected to not break the plastic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, what you could see of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.